Dear listeners, my name is Nicole Brandt and I'm a product manager at PDW. Before I joined PDW, I worked as a medical physicist in a hospital. Today, I want to use the opportunity to talk to you about the use of our Octavius system for patient-specific QA. Fast Independent True 3D SRS Patient QA for Single Isocenter Multiple Target Plans with Octavius 4D 1600 SRS. To introduce this topic, I first want to present our measurement devices and their workflow. Then I will show you a clinical example for Single Isocenter Multiple Target Plans. And in the end, I want to show you a special application, the use of the Octavius Detector 1600 at the CyberKnife. There are two possibilities for patient-specific QA. First, there's the calculation-based treatment plan verification. Second, there's the measurement-based treatment plan verification. PTW offers solutions for both possibilities, but in this presentation, we will concentrate on the measurement-based treatment plan verification. One of our solutions for measurement-based treatment plan verification is the Octavius Detector 1600 SRS. This is only one example for the variety of ionization chamber detectors from PTW. It's a liquid filled ionization chamber detector with a large field size of 15 times 15 square centimeters. The detector spacing in the center area is 2.5 mm and you have a wide range of supported energies, all the energies between cobalt 6T and 25 MV. Additionally, there is the Octavius 4D Phantom. It's a rotating modular phantom with four different changeable phantom tops. You have one phantom top for meshing QA and three phantom tops for patient-specific QA, which differ only in the diameter, so that you can choose the best top for your application that the phantom geometry is similar to your patient geometry. You have real 4D measurements with the beam always perpendicular to the measurement array. And you use only PDD files to reconstruct a TPS independent 3D dose. 3D measurements are also already mentioned in the AAPM TG number 218 report. So they present the possibilities for two dimensional patient specific QA. And they say that regardless of the advantages of any particular two-dimensional based method, none of the methods discussed provides information about the 3D dose deviation in the patient. Additionally, they describe a system which is similar to our Octavius 4D. It's a rotating phantom with a two-dimensional array and the array is always perpendicular to the beam. You will get a 3D dose distribution reconstructed only from the measurements based on person death dose curves. And now I want to show you a short video about the fast and easy workflow of our Octavius system. Here you can see our Octavius rotation unit, which you can easily put using our Octavius trolley on the patient couch. In the back you can see our wireless inclinometer, so the rotation unit knows the whole time the actual gantry angle. You can insert one of the Octavius detectors. Here they use the Octavius detector 1500, but for SRS treatment you can also use the Octavius detector 1600 SRS. The Octavius rotation units rotates the whole time so that the incoming beam is always perpendicular to the array and you measure a true 4D dose measurement in the entire phantom volume. This dose measurement will be reconstructed using the person death dose curves to a TPS independent 3D dose distribution. Now, after we described you the workflow of our Octavius system, I want to show you a clinical example for 3D plan verification for single isocenter multiple target plans. Here are the technical data about our plan. It was a variant hyperarch SRS treatment with nine metastases with different volumes between 0.8 cubic centimeters up to 3.0 cubic centimeters. The largest distance between the PTVs is about 14 centimeters, so you see that it's essential to have a large detector size 
so that all the PTVs fit on the detector in one way measurement. The dose prescription is one fraction with 20 gray. You have two full coplanar arcs and three half arcs non coplanar with angles of 45 degree, 315 and 90 degree. And the used energy is 6 MV flattening filter free. Here you can see the dose distribution of the single PTVs and you see that they are in the entire volume of the head. So you wouldn't find one perfect two-dimensional plan to measure it, so it's essential to have a 3D dose measurement. Here you can see our 3D dose measurement with our software very soft and because of the large detector size you have a full dose detection and no cutoffs. To analyze um, this clinical example, we use the local gamma criterion with 2% and 2 mm and the passing rate was nearly 99%. You can also see a profile analysis of exemplary single PTVs. In the middle the PTV with the large volume, on the right side the PTV with the small volume and you can see that the measured and the planned dose fits quite well. Here I also shortly want to mention that with Verisoft you have many nice tools for your gamma analysis, which each customer can choose for itself. So for example, you can decide if you want to have a two-dimensional or three-dimensional gamma analysis, if you have the local or global criteria, and you can also activate second and third pass criteria. And each physicist can decide for itself, which is the best um, evaluation criteria for its application. Now I want to mention the benefits of the Octavius 4D 1600 SRS. It's the only solution for 3D measurements for SRS SBRT. You measure in the entire phantom volume, so it's possible to measure multiple targets in different planes. It's the largest available array with a well-established system. So it's similar to our Octavius Detector 1000 SRS, which is already used for SRS, a patient-specific QA, and the large field size is good for single isocenter multiple target plans, so you need only one measurement, and so it's a time-saving workflow. We use gold standard ionization chambers, which guarantee a long lifetime and a stable, reliable signal, independent of the accumulated dose. And the detector has a good detector spacing and detector coverage, for this point, I want to show you a picture. Here you can see our detector and for a one square centimeter field, you have nine detectors fully covered and 16 additional detectors partly covered. So in total, you have 25 chambers contributing directly to the measurements of a one square centimeter field. And the field coverage in the center area is 85%. There's nearly no space between the single chambers, so there are no blind zones. And now I will describe one special application of the Octavius Detector 1600 SRS. It's used for CyberKnife patient-specific QA. So why can we use our detector for CyberKnife patient-specific QA? Its large benefit, the negligible angular dependence, guarantees that we can irradiate our device with beams from all the possible nodes and the use of ionization chambers guarantees a stable signal independent from accumulated dose and no need of on-site recalibration. And now I will describe you our measurement setup. So you only need our Octavius detector 1600 SRS. Then we have a CyberKnife marker plate with integrated fiducials so that you can use the CyberKnife alignment system and you can screw this plate on our Octavius detector. And then you only need some RW3 for backscattering and then you already have your measurement set up. Here you can see our CyberKnife marker plate. So you can see the top side and the bottom side. And you see that there are some engravings on the top side so that it helps you for the alignment with the room laser. The marker plate has 14 integrated gold markers with fiducials with different orientations. Here you can see the different fiducials and because of the orientation you can use the CyberKnife fiducial alignment system for automatic alignment in all the directions in space. The material is polystyrene 
and the size is 30 times 30 square centimeters so that it fits perfect to our Octavius Detector 1600 SRS so that you can screw it on the detector and the depth is 31 millimeter. And here you can see our measurement setup. So you use some RW3 plates for backscattering. Then you put the Octavius Detector 1600 SRS on the plates and you screw the marker plate on the detector. Here you should care about the orientation that the um, gun target markers fits to the markers on the detector. Then you start aligning your systems using the room laser and the markers on the detector and the engravings on the marker plate will help you. Then you start measuring. You first start with the cyber knife fiducial alignment and then you can irradiate your treatment plan. After measurement, you compare your plant and your measured dose in very soft. Here you can see an easy plan. It's only one target volume, but with a small size. And you can benefit from the different possible evaluation criteria in very soft, so that you can choose an appropriate gamma criteria. And if you want, you can choose a stricter criteria for very small fields. And you can decide what is the best for your application. The use of the Octavius detector for CyberKnife patient-specific QA is already a well-established system, so there exist some publications about its use of the CyberKnife. And here I only want to mention two of the publications where they describe their workflow and its use for patient-specific QA at the CyberKnife. Now I want to thank you for your attention and I hope I could pick your interest in the effective use of the Octavius system for patient-specific QA. If you have further questions, don't hesitate to contact us or you can also visit our website.